Are you trying to run a matplotlib example in Python 3 and hitting a wall with the GI package? You're not alone. Many users face this issue, and today we're going to solve it together. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you follow the installation steps only to run into errors. It can feel like you're stuck in a loop, but don't worry, we will get through this. Here's the situation. One user reached out saying they needed to install the GI package to run a matplotlib example. They were using Python 3.6.1 and pip, but after installation, they encountered a syntax error. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the details. So what went wrong? It seems like the GI package might have installed a version that is not compatible with Python 3, possibly a Python 2 version. This can happen if the package is not properly maintained or if there are version conflicts. Stick around. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to fix this issue and get your matplotlib example running smoothly. To resolve the issue with the GI package, the user should first ensure they are using the correct version of Python. Since the error indicates a Python 2 syntax issue, it's important to check the Python version being used. Next, the user should confirm that the pip command is associated with Python 3. This can be done by checking the pip version and ensuring it corresponds to Python 3. If the user finds that pip is linked to Python 2, they should use the pip3 command instead. This command is specifically for installing packages for Python 3. After installing the GI package with pip3, the user should try running the matplotlib example again. This time, it should work without the previous syntax error. If the user still encounters issues, they may need to check their environment variables or consider reinstalling Python 3 and pip to ensure everything is set up correctly. Fun fact, the GI package is part of the Gobject introspection, which allows you to use C libraries in Python. It's a powerful tool, but it can be tricky to install correctly. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests using pip with a specific version to install the GI package for different Python versions. They emphasize that the pip version must match the Python version you are using. For example, on OpenSUSE, if the standard Python version is 3.6 and an alternate version is 3.8, you would install the necessary packages and then use pip 3.8 to install PyCairo and PyGobject. Here's a pro tip. Always check the documentation for the package you are installing. It can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to run your matplotlib example without any issues. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and tricks.